Hey, what's going on, guys? We are experiencing another day in the Chicago heat wave, and it is less than ideal for sure. It is very, very hot here. Not as hot as yesterday, but still unacceptably hot. So what I wanted to talk about today is there's a lot of people that, you know, they would be classified as like a casual person in the gym. It's someone who like maybe they have a routine, they've been going consistently, but you know, like they're not committed all the way 100% to everything. Well, when these kinds of people, they start taking PEDs, performance enhancing drugs, they, uh, they're under the assumption, um, based on all the media, propaganda, whatever it is they've consumed throughout their entire life, that they take these things and like that's the, that's the magic thing that's going to make them get huge no matter what. And they get drastically um, underwhelmed and disappointed when that's not the case. And some people, like I, I've talked to some people before, and they're like, well, I'm taking this and I'm, I'm not seeing the progress I expected. I think the stuff's bad. It's like, no. Um, like there's definitely things that, uh, that are, you know, fake knockoffs out there, but, uh, you know, what, what they were taking, it's, it's, it's not a faulty, um, substance they're taking. It's that they, they don't have the things in order in their life to, that would allow them to grow. A lot of people, they think, oh, I'm going to take this stuff and I'm going to be amazing at, at lifting weights. Now I'm going to be more muscular than ever. And all the, all this stuff's going to fall into place. But then they, they kind of, they use the fact that they're on a substance that's boosting the outcomes of what they're doing to uh, slack off on the areas that they would normally know they need to maximize to get growth naturally. They think the rules are different and they're not. You, the rules are exactly the same as being natural, but the stuff you're taking, it's a catalyst, meaning it's speeding up the reaction um, from everything else you're doing. So they think I'm just going to take this stuff. And I'm going to be fine. And they're not fine. They, they might get like modest progress because just the fact that you're introducing something and continuing to do the same thing you were doing, you're going to have, you're going to elicit some type of response. That's going to be more so than before, because you're, 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 you're doing the same thing, but taking something else. And the problem is just kind of like it tapers off fairly quickly. If you're not doing things like eating enough, training hard enough and sleeping enough, so, like, they might get very modest progress, but they're they're drastically disappointed when they find out it, it halts it at a, uh, a very early on stage of, of them developing more. And the reason being is they're not doing everything correctly. They, they're not, like, you, you could count calories, I, I weigh out food, but, like, they're not, you know, they're not doing that. They're maybe they're they're eyeballing what they eat every day. They're not eating consistent um, meals every day. They're like being a scatterbrain. Maybe one day they're actually eating six meals. The next day they're eating two or three, and it's inconsistent as hell. They're getting inconsistent calories, and so their body's gonna have inconsistent growth. You know, they're like, oh, I'm gonna stay up late. I'm gonna watch TV. I'm gonna get four hours of sleep before work. They go in the gym, and they're they're like, oh, well, I mean, I'm taking stuff. I, I don't need to stay here any longer. And they 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 choose to to not do everything to the best of their abilities and and then the progress slows down or or halts entirely and they're very confused because they think like that thing they're taking is the the magic key there and it, it, it's really interesting because you know most normal people will disagree with this statement but it's because they're they're very ignorant to the the idea that most competitive individuals are going to take performance enhancers you know 90% of all professional athletes are currently taking or have taken banned substances. They've done it. They're, you're, you have the best people in the world at something trying to be the very best of the best. They're, they're going to do what's ever necessary to separate themselves from, from the rest of them. And by, by doing that, you know, the, the, it's very commonplace for these things to exist. But people don't look at it that way. And, they don't like if you if you saw that you're like if you saw that the best performing professional athlete that you look up to if you found out they were taking stuff but you've seen them have all kinds of videos and postings about what their daily routine is meaning you 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 are familiar enough with this person and their content that you know like oh well this this guy like 
he's dialed in. He's eating like specific things timed out every single day with with no with no fault. He is training his ass off every single day. But then you find out he's also taking stuff, you know, ignorant, uh, casual individuals, you know, normies, they're going <laughs> to, I like that word, normies, they're going to, they're going to see that. They're going to be like, oh, blah, 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 cheater, all this stuff. Um, that, but you have the casual gym goer that like, maybe they see that and they think like maybe the thing the guy's taking is the common denominator. It's like, no, it, it's not. He's taking that in addition to, to maximizing his output and everything else in his life. And it's enhancing him uh, far greater than he would already be, which is already great. And that's the professional athlete mindset. Bodybuilders are technically professional athletes. IFBB pros, like this is, it's just that being an IFBB pro, it's a necessity to do it. Whereas you could become a professional athlete in another avenue and not take PEDs, but you probably won't be the best athlete in that regard. So, yeah, people people don't realize that, like, professional athletes of, of all different avenues, they are doing everything they can to maximize their, their progress in addition to taking performance-enhancing drugs. Casuals don't understand that. They think, I'm just going to take this stuff, and it's going to be the thing that makes me become great. And it doesn't work out like that for them. And uh, until you, people have experience or they're well-read enough, like they're not going to change their minds on these ignorant viewpoints they have. They just, they, they've been conditioned their entire life to think that these things are bad and demonize them because they put laws in place. You've had the baseball scandal in the early 2000s uh, where the president like made that the main focus instead of other stuff going on. Um, there was the, the, the drug ban, the drug ban bill that includes steroids in the early '90s, you have all things like that, and then you have media portraying all these individuals and blowing them up um, on news channels and everything as being the, the worst of the worst because they got caught uh, doing something that everyone else around them was doing, but they got singled out. Um, so people, you know, the people see that their whole life, and then they they think that they think that it's prescribed for cheaters because they they've caught someone, right? They. Uh, by the way, side note, a famous Louis Simmons quote is that uh, steroids don't don't ruin careers. Drug tests do. And that's entirely true. Drugs don't ruin careers. Drug tests do. And so these people see this their whole life. They, they see like um, like Mark McGuire got caught taking steroids and like we got we not got to negate all of his baseball accolades. But um Everyone around him most certainly was also doing stuff like that. They may have just been more sneaky or they weren't the one that got caught. So they, they blow it up and they're like, well, this single guy is the worst of the worst. He's a piece of crap. He's not worth anything. He's a cheater. He's got to go. And they, they do that and, and they blow it up. And now, like, people that have seen that their whole life, they think, like, oh, this is like a very scarce thing that happens with certain people that are cheaters and don't want to play by the rules everyone else is. But the people taking stuff are playing by the rules everyone else is, just not by the handbook given to them by the organizations that, that they're competing in. Everyone else around them is doing it. They just happen to be the one that got caught. And this is further proven when you look at a case like Lance Armstrong, for example, where he got caught and everyone dragged him through the mud like crazy, that he was this terrible person, everything, his whole history needed to be like looked at and discussed. But the thing is, when they tested everyone else's pee, they had to go all the way down to 17th place, 17th place to find the uh, to find a person with clean pee, meaning everyone else, everyone else in those top rankings, they were doing this stuff, too. But people don't they don't they don't advertise those specifics of what's going on. You get the media outlook and then you actually get what the facts are. The facts are all everyone is doing this stuff. It just so happens that certain people get caught and they want to make it look like those people are the, uh, the rarity among the bunch when they're, just, they're, they're the commonplace rule or not, uh, not rule. They're, they're, they're the commonplace example of what everyone's doing. And people don't people don't want to uh, accept that that's the reality of things. But that's fine because most people, are, they don't pursue athletic endeavors to a high enough level where, where this is like well-known common knowledge for them. And that's all right. That's all right. You, you can't change people's minds by um, making them look stupid. Like, they have to see it for themselves firsthand. And that's why I'm really excited for they're coming out with uh, the Enhanced Games. 
which is essentially going to be like the Olympics, but you can take anything you want. And I think that is so much more exciting than the Olympics. And they're actually making it so they can compensate people fairly because Olympic athletes do not get compensated very much at all. So they're, they're doing that and they're giving specific payouts to people that can break world records because that's essentially what they need to do to make that organization pop off. You can't have a, uh, um, you can't have an organization where everyone's doing everything free reign, full tilt, but then all of a sudden they're not beating world records that people who test them naturally beat. You can't have it that way. So that's why they're giving massive payouts for people that break world records to, to, to show the peak of human capabilities, not like, not the peak of natural capabilities, the peak of human capabilities, whatever you want. And that's very exciting because I think that'll be the first giant wave and the turning of tides with how people view these things. And, a document, documentary I really recommend seeing is Bigger, Faster, Stronger. I think uh, Mark Bell who made that. Um, but documentaries like that or or just people being more well-read and informed about um, the landscape of how uh, athletic, professional athletics works, that goes a long way to broadening your mind and understanding how things actually work, not how you think they work. So it's a long-winded video of me just explaining uh, – you know how how things work out there and a lot of people don't want to agree with that they don't want to accept it but i mean that that is fine everyone's entitled to their opinion but it does not mean that all opinions are educated so hope you guys have a good rest of your day um i don't want to spend too many videos talking about topics like this because yeah I, while i do uh, while i do want to inform people um I, I i don't want to be that guy that's always talking about um what would be looked at as like the dark side of of uh, professional athletics or sports. I, it's not the most common, you know, it, it's not, I should say common, it's not the, you know, it's not the most well-received subject. And um, I can only talk about the same thing so many times before it's boring to me. So, I mean, there's tons and tons of other videos of people explaining this in detail. I don't, I don't want to be that guy that's spending too much time on it. I'd rather talk about things of more substance because at the end of the day, like, like PEDs are PEDs. Like you could, it, it's taboo still. Technically, it's still a taboo subject. That's why people want to talk about it because everyone wants to talk about the taboo. But at the end of the day, like so many other things are more important than what you're taking. Uh, the the contents of your workout routine, how you're performing, stuff, your intensity level, the food you're eating, how often you're eating, what your calorie intake are. Like that is stuff that's more interesting and more important to me than what you're taking because those are the actual building blocks. Of becoming better at whatever you're doing. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'm gonna get back to doing what I'm doing, and I'll see you on the next one. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.